Yeah. Please, please, I, I have family. Let me leave. Yet, I think they have gone. All except for the metal one. Da, he wears a uniform much like yours, but he is Russian. He is at the nuclear core. No doubt eating it like a bear with honey. Spasiba. You're going down! Guess you didn't want a piece of me.
Okay. Okay. Time you freaks learn to listen. Come on. Guess you didn't want a piece of me. Will do. your doom.
You cannot defeat the Acolyte! Still here for the combo! Haha! <laughs> you X-Men are pitiful creatures! Combo!
X-Men. Join us or die. X-Men, thank the fathers you are here. I do not know how much longer I can last. Because of Magneto's attack, the reactor is close to critical mass. If I drop this regulator, there will be a nuclear explosion. Quickly, you must go to the control room above me and open the blast doors. From there, you can repair the brackets that hold this regulator in place. You're traitors to the mutant race! You bet. Okay. Yeah! <laughs> 
run while you got the chance.
क्या होता है Will do. Possible. You have my gratitude, comrades. It was Magneto. And yet, he called the group his acolytes. And there was one other man I did not recognize. He manipulated the radiation so that Magneto would not be harmed while he was within the reactor. I overheard the Acolyte say he was creating some type of material that generated gravitic ions. I am sorry, my friends, but my sister, Ilyana, has fallen ill. I cannot leave her side. A most excellent idea, comrades. This should be the care she requires. Let us go immediately. Peter, I promise you I'll do all that's humanly possible to save her. But this is a most unusual case. I've looked for viruses, parasites and tissue damage, but I can't find anything wrong with her. I do not understand. Peter, there is no physical reason she should be in a coma. And to make matters worse, her body has begun to shut down. Doctor, please, I beg of you. Don't give up hope. I've asked Forge to see if he can create a life support system to keep your sister alive. Do you think he will succeed? Knowing Forge, he's putting the finishing touches on the device as we speak. Ah, a new X-Man, eh? Where does Charles find such splendid people? What can I do for you, lass? Are you Dr. Moira McTaggart? Aye, that's me. I run the Mutant Research Centre here on Muir Island. Are you a mutant? No. But my son Kevin was. The poor lad. What happened to him? I believe in his case, his mutation truly was a curse. It drove him to madness. He escaped the research centre and went on a killing spree. The X-Men had no choice but to destroy him. What is this place? This is the Mutant Research Center. From here, I study mutant genetics and aid the Xavier Institute whenever and however I can. How'd you come to be involved with the X-Men? Charles and I were very good friends back in college. What's wrong with Ileana? I honestly don't know. Her body's shutting down for no apparent reason. 
Perhaps it has something to do with her X gene. What's an X gene? That's the gene that gives mutants their special abilities. So, one little gene is the cause of all this trouble between humans and mutants? I, I suppose you could say that. <laughs> Goodbye, Doctor. Goodbye, lass. I know it was you, Alex. What have you gotten yourself into? Look, all I ask is that you meet me. You couldn't have picked a worse time. Scott, you really need to see this for yourself. Then you'll understand. I don't know. I need to... Hope to see you there, Scott. I've gotta go. Bye. Bye, Alex. Oh, I'm sorry. I didn't mean to interrupt. You didn't. If you don't mind my asking, who was that? Someone who needs a swift kick. Computer, shut down the power grids in the 3rd, 4th, and 8th sectors. Invalid. Command. Ah! I made you! I can break you, you chunk of... Uh, uh, oh, oh, hi, yes. My name's Forge. What can I do for you? Hi, I'm Allison. I, I mean, I'm Magma. Nice workshop you have here. Thanks. I use it to build any new equipment Dr. McTaggart might require. You see, I have the ability to build any type of machine. That's got to be... The weirdest mutant power you've ever heard of, yes, I know. Everybody says that, until they need me to build a machine for them, that is. <laughs> Are you having trouble with your computer? <sighs> ever since the Brotherhood stormed through here, the mainframe's been acting flaky. It's constantly turning systems on and off, it won't take any of my commands. Say, could I ask a big favor of you? Like what? Would you mind manually rebooting the Institute's supercomputer? I need it to program the life support system I built for Ileana. Rebooting a supercomputer sounds pretty technical. <laughs> There's nothing to it. I do it myself, but I have to be here when the mainframe comes online. Sure. I'd love to help out. What do I do? Go to the primary core. Once you're there, contact me over the radio, and I'll walk you through the steps to rebooting the computer. Okay, Forge. I found the primary core. What should I do now? Wait a second, Allison. I just found out I can't shut down the computer defense systems. They'll attack anything that moves in there. Maybe I should get one of the other X-Men to handle this. There's no time to waste, Forge. Ileana will die without your help. And you can't help her until this computer is working. I have to agree, Allison. Time is running out. You're very brave to do this. Nah. I'm just looking forward to a good fight. <laughs> You're starting to sound like Wolverine. Okay, Allison. Move into the room, and I'll talk you through the steps to rebooting the computer.
first, you'll need to raise the bridge to get to the primary controls. There should be a control panel near the bridge. Won't go up. I'll have to clear it off first. Okay. Be careful, Allison. Ow! That had to hurt.
This panel isn't doing anything, Forge. Yeah, from my monitor, it looks like the core is out of alignment. So what should I do? There are two core control stations. Find them and access the core. They should automatically align. Good job, Allison. Now you have to find the other core control station. That's more like it. The core is in alignment. Now head back to the primary controls and access them. I've got it covered, Forge. How's that, Forge? It worked. Great job, Allison. The computer is coming back online. You handled that like a pro. But what about Ileana? I'm already using the main computer to help her. Thanks, Allison. You probably just saved her life. Okay, Moira. I've finished downloading the program. How do things look? That's done it, Forge. Ileana's life signs are stabilizing. Your talents truly are a gift from heaven. I couldn't have done it without Allison. She's the hero. Well then, I thank you, Allison. You saved Ileana's life. Anyone could have done it. Nonsense. You deserve to be congratulated, lass. Thanks. I'm just glad Ileana's better. X-Men, meet at the X-Jet. Now. It's time we left for the mansion, people. Colossus, you're welcome to join us. Since Dr. McTaggart is sending Ileana to see Professor Xavier at the X-Mansion, I will go too. We got back from Muir Island a little while ago. Somehow my troubles with the Brotherhood really don't seem important compared to what poor Ileana's going through. I hope Dr. McTaggart and Professor Xavier can help her. Hello, Alison Crestmere. How did you discover your mutant powers? One day, I was working in the fields when a tractor went out of control and threatened to crush my sister Ileana. Without thinking, I jumped in the path of the runaway machine. Oh my gosh, what happened? My body transformed into living metal and gave me the strength of a hundred men. I stopped the tractor with little effort. Any word on your sister? I have spoken with Dr. McTaggart, but there is no change in Ileana's condition. I fear her time grows short. But Dr. McTaggart seems pretty certain she can save her. Perhaps. But I am not so certain now. Ileana's lucky to have a brother like you. Yet, I am the lucky one. My sister gives me reason to live. Without her, I would be an empty shell. Take it easy, Colossus. So long as my sister is ill, 
I will never take it easy. Hello, dear. You must be new to the school. Yes, my name is Allison Kressmere. How delightful. I'll bet all the boys are chasing after a pretty girl like you. Ah, uh, men. They're so easy to own. Allison, I'd like to introduce you to Emma Frost, also known as the White Queen. She has immense psychic talents. Charles, my sweet. You're looking more handsome every day. And you, Emma, are equal parts beauty and chaos. Such a smooth talker. You could charm a girl right out of her. Thank you for coming to the mansion so promptly. I am in dire need of your talents. Not to worry, Charles. Auntie Emma will make it all better. You see, Allison? Men are so easy. Much like the boy you're interested in. Bobby Drake? Hello, Allison. How's that boy you have your eye on? Bobby Drake? How did you know about Bobby? It's amazing the things you learn when you're a telepath. I thought telepaths weren't supposed to read minds unless they were given permission. <laughs> now where's the fun in that? What's this astral plane that Professor Xavier was talking about? The astral plane is a dimension of existence bordering on the edge of thought. It's based entirely on metaphor. So, a person who needs emotional protection would be covered in armor, and a person who wishes to be silent would be surrounded by a wall. Sounds very weird. Think of it as a dream, where everything has an alternate and deeper meaning. Good luck on your mission. Be sure to keep an eye on the professor. My dear. I always keep both eyes on Charles. Allison, I'm gonna be gone for a little while. Where are you going? I can't say, but it shouldn't take long. If you're gone, who's gonna be in charge of the team? Storm will be the X-Men team leader in my absence. Can I go with you? You know, you probably would come in handy, but no. This is something I have to do alone. Okay. See you later, Cyclops. See you soon, Allison. that maybe you still got a little feeling or two for Magneto. I can understand that, but... Oh, tell me, Cher. You still got a little room in your heart for old Gambit? Hmm? <laughs> I'm long done with Magneto. And you know I still care about you, you sneak thief. But think about what you're asking me. Oh, sorry. <laughs> I'll leave. <laughs> Don't you worry none, little Allison. I done heard everything that I need to know. I'll be going now. What's Gambit angry about? He and I have an on-again, off-again relationship. And this time, I'm the one who called it off. He'll pout about it for a while, but he'll be back. Gambit seemed... I'm kind of worried you might still have feelings for Magneto. I admit, at one time, Magneto held a very special place in my heart. And I know I broke his heart the day I left the Brotherhood. Do you regret leaving? Heck no! The Brotherhood is nothing but a bunch of backstabbing lowlives who'd be more than happy to kill off Magneto and take over leadership. The only problem is, none of them are anywhere near Magneto's strength. See you later, Rogue. Later, Sugar.
Allison, I can't help but notice you've been extremely somber lately. Is something wrong? I'm worried about Ileana. That's very kind of you. I'm sure Peter appreciates your concern. I wish there was something I could do to help. Allison. The more I get to know you, the more I'm convinced you were an X-Man before you even came to the mansion. What do you mean I was already an X-Man? Your concern for the welfare of others, even those you don't know, is exactly how the X-Men feel. Much like you, they are willing to go to any lengths to help those in need. Will Dr. McTaggart be able to save her? Moira is an extremely gifted scientist, and don't forget that Charles Xavier is also on the case. Not to worry, young lady. Ileana couldn't be in better hands. Thanks, Beast. You're the greatest. <laughs> I wouldn't debate that point with you at all, my friend. Guten Tag, Fräulein Magma. What are you up to? I am lending Cyclops a hand in his search. What search? We are trying to discover how Mystique knew to go to the Harp facility to find the location of Magneto's prison. Oh, right. That's how the Brotherhood knew he was on the Arbiter. Are you having any luck in your search? Yeah. This would try the patience of Job. But we uncovered one intriguing bit of information. And that would be? Someone in the military has been leaking information to the Brotherhood. But the military distrusts mutants as much as anyone else. Indeed. And that is exactly what makes this information so intriguing. See you later, Nightcrawler. Auf Wiedersehen, Allison. Was ist los, Beast? Why call such a mysterious meeting, huh? I apologize for the cryptic message, but I fear we are about to come under attack from cloaked invaders. What? How do you know? Normally, I never would have detected them, but the variant covalence bands were interfering with an experiment dealing with hyperbolic... If there's a point, Beast, you should be getting to it. As you wish, Wolverine. I've discovered someone is attempting to access the Xavier Protocols. Those contain information on every known mutant in the world. If they fell into the wrong hands, no mutant would be safe. Any idea who's doing it, Beast? Anyone attempting to infiltrate our network would have to be nearby. But I've scanned the mansion grounds and can't detect anyone. Therefore, it seems reasonable to assume our unwanted guests are cloaked. Now it makes sense. For the past half hour, I've been catching thoughts from minds that I've never encountered before. Jean, do you think you can pinpoint where these thoughts are coming from? Yes, but I can only locate one mind at a time. That's all we'll need. All right, team, let's get out there and pay close attention to Jean's instructions. Emma Frost. Storm.
Colossus. I can sense them nearby. Search the grounds and I'll mark the ones closest to us. Okay.